What is up, guys? It's Masters here, and we have all of these amazing Brain Attack Wave 1 villains because we're doing the recap, just like with the heroes and stuff with the Will Spire 5 crib with the bags and all that, and you know, all that good stuff. And yeah, so just like last time, end of the line, end of the line, and here we have Ogrum. Okay, bag time. You want to look at the front part right now? If you want to look at the back part. Right yeah, that was so good bag time. <laughs> um, but Ogrim. Ogrim was a nice set. Um, one thing I got, I'm gonna mention. He had the brain on him. Uh, I like what they did with his weapon. He had the seaweed thing, which I did not understand. One of the things I did not like, though, was how they didn't at least put this claw over here. They just put it over here. They just left that there. And I do think... That his wrecking ball weapon is very nice, and I do like the transparent and the nice little um, bulkiness they added on his arms. Now on to probably the most bulkiest set of all time, though. Yeah, so here we have Rizu. It's not the most bulky set of all time. An amazing leg, so he actually has some pretty good quality going on here. Okay, so Bruiser was a rather detailed set, but also probably my least favorites. I don't know about my better, but probably my least favorite because of what Lego did right here with this arm. Now, what they do with this arm gives them an easy 10 out of 10 with playability, but it really ruins it when you want to pose him or just do really anything. So here's what his arm does. Wow, I actually got that to work much better than in my review. So I almost kind of see you. So he has the brain here. And... With the heroes, they have them put the shields on the back. With the villains, you can put the brains and connect them down here to the back. But for me, it only goes on for like a second. But Bruiser had a lot of detailed pieces. Because, you know, they really engraved it in a way. So, uh, it would look like there's a rock. Look at his face here. Or right down here. Or just in specifically this little armor piece that I'm trying to show right here. But then the tripod broke. <laughs> But he doesn't have really much. Like, he's good for um, mocking but, and for playability. But, you know, other than that, it's just, yeah, kind of messed up. And, I don't know why I forgot this, but. Come on, look at the front of the back. Pause it right now. Come on, look at the back of the back. Pause it right now. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go on to the smallest film, probably, in the entire line. This is Skorox, or Skorox, or Skorox, or whatever you want to call them, but I'm going to call them Skorox, because that's what they call them. So if you want to look at the front of the back, pause them right now. If you want to look at the back of the back, pause it right now. Alright, so, Skorox, um, is a interesting set. Um, he was filled with new pieces, though. Like, well, the new pieces were mostly recolors, like his blades, and this transparent little green venom piece right here on his mouth coming down and the, his armor basically was but just like Bruiser he has a playability future and that is that these arms can come up well they go up like this or they go down and this isn't now it's the playability future doesn't really ruin anything because at first, it's kind of annoying, and you want to, like, get rid of it, but after a while, it's just really easy to get used to, and it just sits there. And just like Bruiser, he has a little thing in the back that you can connect his brain to, instead of it coming out like this, like he just snapped off. So, um, let's take a look at his top of his brain, at least. Yeah, he has a dark green brain. You see the brains are actually very detailed and create their eyes. As you can see right here. If you just look into his eye, you'll see that that's actually the brain. Um, he has a detailed face, too. And, um, Br Bruiser, not Bruiser, Squ Squawks is actually my favorite villain, my brother's, this was not my brother's favorite villain, but it was definitely mine, so. It took a while on him, but now we're going on to the last one. Pyrex. Okay. One thing I have to point out because it's killing me right now. With the pieces, Bulk has 50 pieces. 
Now let's go on to Pyrox. 50 pieces. And there's a price difference. Pyrox, $12.99. Bulk, $9 or $8.99. The Lego shop says $9.99, so I don't know. But that means that either Bulk is underpriced or Pyrox is overpriced. Let's just hope Pyrox is overpriced. Um, but if you want to look at the front of the bag, pause right now. If you want to look at the back of the bag, pause right now. Alright. Now, on to Pyrox. Pyrox has a yellow brain, of course. And Pyrox, I really did like this set. Um, I don't know if my brother pointed this out, but Bruiser has this, like, similarity, kind of, like, piece, like, in Ordeal of Fire, how they all have their own, like, type of special little piece. Pyrox has this fiery piece with just claw is like in the way but you can see it and that's neat because I don't think we've ever gotten that piece before so it's like its own special little piece. Um, Pyrox, I liked Pyrox. Pyrox had a little playability feature. It wasn't that big. It was only on his weapon. Um, I get his weapon and put it up here. It moves. And that's not a huge playability feature. It's just a little small thing that I'm not addicted to. Like other things, like spinning Breeze's shield. Things like that. But Pyrox was a very uh, good set. Um, I think, I don't know. I think it was a bit too small to for fighting Fernal Excel. It's just my opinion. He was he was just a bit too small. But Pyrox was a nice set. Uh, they worked pretty good on him, and I do like his weapon. His his just look. Um, it's just really nice. There's not much to say about him though. Because there's just not. But. He does have some nice mocking pieces, and there is one piece that he comes with that um, we've been waiting for for a long time, and that was a body piece in red. Um, although now we don't actually use those too much anymore in mocks, but it's still nice to have. So that was it of our villain recap. But wait, this video is not over yet. We still what? have one extra thing. All right, so the last thing we want to show here was just all the brains. Um, we'll do a quick little look at them. Let's just take a look at the prison one. As you can see, they are very menacing. Yes, they're so menacing. The ogre one. Um, this is in light green. Skrox comes in a dark green one. Alright, so now we have Squawks here. Dark green. It's actually really good looking dark green. It's actually kind of hollow if you look closely. And Pyros. Alright, so now you've been able to see, like, everything. You've been able to see the sets, the brains, and this new setup that we have. This really amazing setup that and we're very um, fortunate to have. If you want to see the reviews, like, if you're, you're like, oh my god, like, let's say you weren't interested in the Hero Factory, see these brain tech sets, so you would say, oh, um, I want to see these sets. You can check out, um, our reviews on them. If you like them, you can check out other reviews on them. And um, if you want to see the, the ones, yeah, just so you know, we'll have the... Review links in the description. So uh, we'll also have the hero ones too, if you want to see some of those. But those will also be in the hero recap too, if you're watching this before it. Yes. And once again, this is like a third time ever doing recaps, so it's not the best thing in the world. And the bad so, thing was from Little Spider Five. Yes, the bad thing. All credit goes to Little Spider Five. So, thank you guys for watching. 
We'll see you next time. Goodbye.